nice if people choose the wrong people to date. We accept the love we think we deserve. We make them know that they deserve more. We can try. So, uh, um, I just got fired, and I'm taking it surprisingly well. It's probably because I took my medicine this morning. I'm still really sad about it, though. I've been crying a lot. Um, so basically, I've had the last three days off in a row, and that's fine. It's not normal, but it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And I didn't suspect anything. And then I, I've been having trouble sleeping lately, because I could feel that something was wrong, that something bad was going to happen. And last night I was up until like four o'clock in the morning, four thirty, something like that. And I think it was like four thirty when I was just I tried to go to bed and I ended up uh getting dressed and walking out of the house and I went for a really long walk and thinking about everything that was going on. And I'm walking around town at like 3 o'clock in the morning. And I came home and I did a little bit of research. Watched a movie. Just chilling out, you know. Until I felt slightly better about one of my problems. A few of my problems. Everything seemed slightly better just for now. And I felt good enough, I was calm enough, that I could go back to bed. So I did, and I fell asleep almost immediately. And I got up four hours later. I got up, I got dressed for work, I finished the movie that I started last night. ate breakfast, took my medicine, and went off to work. Um, I got there, I had a few minutes before my shift, so I just sat down and read a book. I purposely go into work um, as early as possible. Uh, well, not as early as possible, but I try to get there about 20 minutes or so before my shift so I can just rest and just read before my shift, whatever. So I sit down and I read and I'm just, I'm calm, I'm feeling positive, I'm in a good mood. And in my world, everything's fine. I'm not worried about anything. All bad feelings are either gone or ignored. And I go into the back. And I start to hang out my stuff. I haven't even clocked in yet. Because there's this rule that you're not supposed to clock in until... You've put down your bag and you have your uniform on and you're actually ready for work. 
So I go put my stuff down and I'm getting ready to go clock in. And my boss walks past me and she's like, hey, can I talk to you in the office for a minute? And I was like, um, that's weird, but okay. So I put my stuff down and I go into the office with her and we have to wait for the other manager. Um, cause my boss is quitting and this other manager is going to take over her position when she leaves. So, got to have my two bosses in on this, and my main boss explains to me that I've been written up again. I knew that I'd been written up before. Uh, your first write-up is just a written warning. Your second write-up, you get a week suspension without pay, and I got written up a second time but wasn't sent on a week suspension because... We've been really busy lately, and we can't afford to really lose anyone right now. But I wasn't aware that I'd been written up a third time. Uh, when you get written up a third time, you're terminated on the spot. So before I could even clock in, I was fired. And I'm surprised how well I took it. I was very calm. I mean, my boss knew that I was crying. Um, but I was very calm about it. I took it very well. I said, okay, I understand. It's been great working with you. And under my breath, as I was packing up my stuff, I said, fuck my life, I'm gonna go kill myself. So grab my stuff and I walked out and bid my coworkers farewell and I walked out and I went and got myself a taco because I got into the habit of going to Taco John's when something bad happens when I got wrecked up for the second time I went and got a taco um but I just, I can't eat right now. I, I just can't. I'm not in the mood for it. Before I left for work, I just wanted to go to sleep. I just, I didn't want to go anywhere except back to bed. And now I am not in the mood to sleep. I'm not in the mood to eat or sleep or do anything. I can't go watch anime or color or anything. I don't know what to do with myself. I've just lost interest in everything that I do when I have a day off. But I think I'm just gonna do what I normally do when I lose a job and I just take like a week to recover, um, do some cleaning around the house, and clean myself up, and take good care of myself, and then I get back out there and I start applying for jobs left and right, and sometimes it takes a couple of months for anyone to take me in because I have a bad history and people talk shit so it's really hard for me to get a job and keep one for a while so I finally get a job and I am as good as I can I'm as nice as possible I'm showing them that the little shit that I used to be is no longer here. I'm an adult, I'm more mature, I've grown up, whatever. I try to prove myself worthy and there's no problems for a while. And then I start to show them who I am. They start to get to know me and 
I end up getting fired because I quit putting on that fake smile and I started being more real and I get in trouble for it. So you just gotta be fake or you get in trouble and that's all I have learned from any job that I've had. Gotta be fake as fuck or you risk losing everything. So, I'm gonna try to eat, I'm gonna try to relax, try to calm myself down, go get all my uniform stuff, and pack it up, get it clean, and pack it up and take it back. I actually had a present for my boss, as much as I hate her. I got her a present because I know that she's leaving and I got her this little bracelet and I made a video on that already but I haven't posted it yet at this point so um, I'll talk about that later I'll I'll post that later but for now yeah I got her a bracelet and I was gonna give it to her on her last day of work, and now I don't get to do that. So, I'm still gonna give it to her. I don't care. I'm, I'm still gonna be nice and give it to her, so. But for now, I'm just gonna go chill. I'm gonna color. I'm probably gonna go clean the bathroom and vacuum the living room or something. Do something around the house, do something productive, such as laying around and moping. And hopefully I can feel better soon. And yeah. <laughs>